Hi guys, this is the first part of an Android tutorial that allows you to upload pictures to a server. So here's what the finished product will look like. So you can select a picture, clicking over here, and let's say I want a picture of a dog. So I select the picture, I write the name of the picture, let's say dog. So I upload an image and right now it's converting this image to a string and sending it to the server. And now if I search for a dog and download image I retrieve the picture back from the server so to start this off I've created a blank project and the first thing I'd like you guys to do is to change this to a scroll view a scroll view basically allows you to scroll through the content of a page for example if the picture here is too big then the download image button may become covered so the scroll view will allow you to scroll down and the scroll view can hold a linear layout you can only have one child in the scroll view so I want my linear layout to wrap content actually alright so now we can start putting fins on our page so the first thing I would like you guys to put is an image view an image view can hold an image as the name suggests and we want the image to be 150 dp so it's a square image and also let's say we want it to be centered so centered horizontally and finally we need to give the image view a name an ID so an ID and let's just call it image to upload so the image that we are going to upload will be um, displayed in this image view right here so secondly we need an edit text an edit text is like a text field it allows people it allows users to enter text so this is where the name of the image to upload will be entered so wrap content also um, we need to give this an ID too and let's name it ET meaning edit text upload name alright it's looking good secondly um, we need to create another image view and we'll call this downloaded image so the image that has been downloaded will be displayed in this image view right here and we need to call this ET download name which is basically where the text for the image to be downloaded will be entered finally we need to add buttons so um, match parent so it fills up the complete page horizontally and vertically we just want it to wrap content so it's not too big and also we need to give this a name and the name would be uh, let's say upload image we need to give it a text because we need the button to display a text to the user so we'll just call right upload image so this is the button that will be clicked when the user wants to upload an image and we copy this and create a second button which the user will click when they need to download an image so we'll call this down button download image and we'll change the name right there okay so that's our page nearly done and we're getting an error here what's the error it says wrong orientation alright we need to give you an orientation because all linear layouts we need to tell Android if it's going to be vertical or if we're going to add the views vertically or ha add them horizontally so we need to add it vertically alright so as you can see everything is looking nice there let's just add a little padding around everything so it just looks Sorry, padding, right, 10 dp. All right, yep, so that's looking nice. So now we need to basically write the Java code now that will use these views. So we come over here. Firstly, I want to delete this on create option menu and op option item selected because we're not going to be needing that. And we need to first declare some variables at the top right here that will basically holds the image to be uploaded, hold the button and hold the edit text and it allows to refer to it anywhere in this code so the first thing we need to do is create variables that holds the image to be uploaded sorry to upload and the image which has been downloaded so these are image image views and secondly we need to create buttons so upload image and the download image finally we need to refer to the edit text which we created so upload image name 
and download image name. So now we have these variables. We need to actually tell. We need to actually like refer to it in the XML. So the way we do that is we'll start with the image view. So image to upload. Um, we'll upload an image view. So we need to cast it to an image view, and we need to find the view by ID. So the ID we gave the image to upload is image to upload. Yep. So what this does is find view by ID looks at the activity main right here and looks for a view that has the ID image to upload and the view can be anything it can be a text view button edit text image view but we need to actually cast it to an image view so we'll be able to assign it to this um, variable up here so next we we'll do the same thing for downloaded image we cast it to an image view because we'll find an image view so now we need to find an image view in the activity main XML page so what did I call that downloaded image and we need to do the same thing for the button so upload image we need to cast it to a button now because now we're finding the button and I call this be upload image yep and be download image same thing so I call that and finally we need to do this for the edit text but I'll just copy and paste it just to speed things up right so yeah same thing I found the edit text called et upload name and casted it to an edit text and made it assigned it to the variable so now finally the last thing we need to do in this part is add an on-click listener and I explain to you what that is so this is how you add an on-click listener so an on-click listener is basically once you add an on-click listener to image to upload, there's now a listener that is waiting for the image to upload to um, image view to be clicked. And when it's clicked, then we can perform some actions, but we'll talk more about that in the next tutorial. So we need to set an on-click listener. We need something to listen for the um, on-click, and we want this um, main activity to listen for it. That's why we've put this in there. So now it's giving us an error because the main activity is not a listener now we need to make it a listener and the way to do this is implement view dot on click listener and now we need to if you press control i i don't know what the shortcut will be for you but basically we need to override on click so anytime on click happens anytime the image to upload is um, clicked then this method will be called right here so now we need to do the same thing for the the upload the button. So so I explain that again. So we've added an on-click listener to these buttons right here, and the listener is this. So main activity is the listener, and main activity is allowed to listen to the clicks on these buttons because we've um, made it implement view on click listener. So now main activity is a listener, and this method right here will be called when any when these three views are clicked. So if the image to upload is clicked, then this will be called. If the button is clicked, then this will be called, and if the yeah, download the image button is clicked and this will be um, called. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll look at um, up allowing the user to select an image from the gallery and also adding some code in here that allows us to know which of these three views have been clicked. So thank you for listening. See you guys in the next part.